Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna take a, we're gonna start working on the 07, getting it ready to come apart. Um, you guys have seen us kind of disassemble this. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put y'all on a time lapse while we get the engine uh, starting to come apart. Meyer's gonna come over and help us with the tranny. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting the front end apart. Again, really easy bumper, move the AC out of the way, radiator, intercooler, turbos um and then you know just kind of kind of work from there uh the only thing i will stop and show you guys uh like promised is how to um trim the cross member to allow the engine to come out with the cylinder head still on so i will pause there for y'all and then we'll just continue on uh basically we need some of the parts of this engine like the cylinder head lifting eye the um, thermostat housing, the AC um, bracket, we need the intake plenum plate. Uh, what else do we need? Um, I need the connecting tubes out of there. So, uh, and the CP3 gear. Uh, and I got some cool surprises for you guys. We're, I don't wanna say changing directions on the 07, but because we have the 21 now, we're gonna get a little bit more risky with this thing. It's gonna be a little bit wilder than I thought. And it should be a lot of fun for you guys to watch as we go along here. So without further ado, let's get to ripping this thing apart.
so in a little bit under an hour trans is disconnected thanks to mer and we got it pretty much ready to come out i'm going to show you guys this trick on how to do the cross member meyer is going to hold the camera for us so you take out the four 13 mil heads on each side and then this one is bent uh so maybe this truck was in an accident So you beat it as far as it will go over here. All right, and then what you're gonna do is cut it off. And what you guys can see here, um, there's two, there's a top and a bottom. So you don't lose all your bolts. You only lose the um, one on this side. And then once you cut it, then you beat it back this way and you notch over here. So we'll go ahead, get that done. So you cut it like that, then you're gonna go ahead and pull this chunk out. Like I said, you only lose the two. And then you go ahead and you beat this thing. All the way over. And then what we're gonna do is slit this back here. Mario, you wanna bring the camera? So you're gonna cut here, here, and then here, and basically it'll be able to be beat now. that there you go so the first time you do it pretty hard what i do is i'll beat these open a little bit more um as meyer can attest on my 05 was this like two minute process yeah it was if easy. that so we'll have to straighten this out i think either somebody's had this truck apart or it got into an accident either way it really doesn't matter and then we'll finish this cut off, but that's how you do it. Now we can go ahead, chain up the engine. We'll put you guys back on the time lapse and get this thing ripped out.
All right, so here she is out of the truck. Doesn't look too bad. Um, I thought it milkshake worse, but obviously you guys can see the oil inside the engine there. So we definitely had some uh, some issues, but at least we know it's not rusted on the inside. So now we gotta harvest a few parts, the CP3 gear, this bracket, this bracketry here, the heater core line. We gotta take the dual pump kit, the 12 mil off ECM harness, a couple other things like the starter. This is the heat exchanger. We're not putting that back on because we just run the factory cooler and one under the bed. And as you guys can see it, it was rough. There is oil everywhere and I'm really disappointed. Now guys, I say this because we just had such high hopes that this shaft would be like somehow a miracle worker. But as you guys can see here, we did twist it a little bit. Again, PDD does not rate this shaft for what this truck was doing. It was just kind of, we thought it would last longer. Um, it, it got 12,000 miles, about three months of use. Just a slight twist. The converter looks just fine. The fluid came out nice and red. Um, hopefully you guys like the trick on the cross member. And now becomes the tedious process of getting everything cleaned and getting transferred over to this engine here that we got all kind of put together looking gorgeous and yeah all in a night's work i think we had the engine completely out in an hour and a half so it's always nice to have myers help especially when i'm not feeling too good he is uh very nice to have and then for those of you guys that are curious ac compressor off to the side power steering off to the side as well and that's how you pull it, really. Not much there. Well, guys, we're going to end it off here. The engine is out. Um, the new engine's almost ready to go in. We got a little cleanup to do. A couple of parts to get transferred and painted. up. But all in all, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot of just wrenching and stuff. But we've covered a lot of these topics already. So if you feel like you missed something, go ahead and scroll down on my videos on my channel. Chances are we've probably already covered it. Um, I'm getting some of this stuff out, especially with the 05 pulling an engine. I believe I covered that in pretty detailed steps. So go ahead and, you know, scroll back a little bit and you'll be able to pick up what you missed. Um, hopefully you guys like this video, drop a comment down below. I'm kind of curious. I think the head gasket is what ended up failing on this, but drop your guesses down below on what you think. Make sure you subscribe. We got the new engine for this truck. We got the 21 that's going to get some upgrades. And then the 05 is officially kind of a hot topic. We'll get into that more later. Until next time, guys, I'll see you on the next one.